Now an Eyewitness News exclusive, Inside the Bomb Squad. Whether diffusing dangerous devices or blasting their way into buildings, the Rhode Island State Bomb Squad provides essential assistance to local, state, and federal law enforcement. And it's a division of the State Fire Marshal's office a lot of people really don't know about. I had the opportunity to get an inside look at this elite team. They're the first line of defense. Securing an opening for SWAT police and the FBI to enter a home or building. Believed to have suspected fugitives inside. This is the Rhode Island Bomb Squad, members of the State Fire Marshal's Office. Their mission, assisting first responders, providing specialized technical and tactical assistance to over 100 state and local public agencies, sometimes crossing state lines. On April 13, 2013, the Rhode Island Bomb Squad traveled to UMass Dartmouth looking for suspected marathon bomber Johar Sernayev. We went down to Dartmouth, we secured the dorm room, to make sure there was no explosives left in there because uh, of the situation. While the access was gained without breaching the door, that's not always the case. We wanted to see firsthand how the Rhode Island Bomb Squad prepares, so we went to their training facility in Exeter. Deputy State Fire Marshal Tech Tom Groff. It's something we practice all the time, so when we're actually doing it, we do it exactly like we do in practice. Every member trains over 32 hours per month. Technician Bruce Quinn says while people are sleeping or not paying attention inside the building, the bomb squad preps the door for an explosion. But there's a uh, window punch. He puts it in there, it strikes a essentially a shotgun shell primer, which ignites this shock tube, which will send little bitty flame inside that plastic into the blasting cap that's on the other end of it, which is attached to the charge here. After the explosive strip is placed, they ignite the explosives. Three, two, one. The door is breached. That's when SWAT teams enter, allowing police to conduct criminal investigations into an incident involving threats or devices. Have to put earplugs on. Another mission, disrupting suspicious packages that could be a bomb. We approach the suspected package. Uh, bomb tech will go down in a bomb suit, x-ray the device. We'll come back, determine that if it's hazardous or not. If it's hazardous, we'll render it safe. And we do that energetically with explosives. The bomb squad gave us a first-hand look at how the operation is carried out safely, even allowing me to set off the device. Fire the hole! Fire the hole! Once the package is disrupted or taken away, investigators wearing this bomb suit I tried on map out the debris field to collect evidence. It's difficult to run in something like this, isn't it? Yes. The suit equipped with helmet lights. All right, Mike, first thing you're going to do is you're going to walk up here. Communication and protective gear. How are your knees? It's a lot of weight. Sure is. It weighs about 80 pounds. The state bomb squad has approximately $4 million in specialized equipment that includes bomb suits, robots, and x-ray equipment. We'll show you that new at 6.